This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you touch that like button, touch that subscribe button. Make sure you destroy the like button, guys. Very important. I appreciate you guys and hope you guys are having a great night. Or it's a great morning, actually, now. Anyways, let's get right into it. So, 50 Cent actually dropped a good record with Post Malone. Uh, everyone thought he was done with music. I've heard this, him tease this song before, but he never really released it. So, it's a song with Post Malone uh, video. It's good. It's really good. <laughs> so, make sure you guys go check it out. And, uh, great time to drop it, too. <laughs> but, uh... Post Malone always gets a lot of views, so we'll see how this record performs in about a week or so. But uh, we'll get into that. Then we have French Montana and Jim Jones kiss and make up on the gram. Now it's good they it's good they made up, but this was the dumbest hip hop beef ever. One of the dumbest. It was really over nothing. Now French tries to paint it like yo, we were beefing, bro, back at this. It's like yo, dude. You were beefing with Jim Jones mainly because you took on Max B's issues, which is fine. That's 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 good. Right? You know, it's like Max B had an issue with Jim Jones after balling and everything because he had those court cases and you know he didn't feel like Jim Jones was doing enough for him and you know a lot of stuff. And then you know Jim Jones did hold a lot of people back. Let's say stack bundles him. It just it wasn't good. Okay. He was keeping him in the sweatshop for uh, for writing hits. But um, anyways, and I like Jim Jones, don't get me wrong. You know, I, a lot of rappers are guilty of that. So anyways, uh, French Montana makes peace with Jim Jones. But he, he was nervous the whole time, man. He was fidgeting with his mask the whole time. Always ready to say the next thing instead of listening to what Jim Jones had to say. Jim Jones was calm, cool, and collected. I'll give him that. He was calm, cool, and collected. You know what? Jim Jones is always about a bag. So, you know, it's like, eh, you got to do this to do this. That's cool. I love how French Montana kept throwing Rick Ross in the mix. Like, yo, Rick Ross wouldn't do a feature with Jim Jones or something around that time. Because Rick Ross does keep it pretty, pretty real with his friends. As much as he can. Okay? There, there's a few that, meh. But, um, like Torch and stuff like that, they, he didn't really keep it 100 with. But, uh, I don't think Rick Ross messes with French Montana anymore, I'll be honest with you. Ever since 2015 ish, 14, 15 ish, ever since the, the Drake thing happened with Meek, Rick Ross was cool on French Montana because he saw how French Montana moves. He moves whatever benefits him he's not a real dude he he was moving like that with max b because it benefited him french montana was never taken seriously as a rapper when he was doing the dvds right um but he but i'll give one th french montana one thing he's consistent and he he works hard and he finds his way in a situation i always say that people say um i'm hating on him i'm not i'm being honest with you He's a hustler. He knows how to hustle. So he got down with Max B. Max B needed support at the time. Max B was hot, but he got, you know, he gave him a little support that he needed. And it worked out for both of them because when um, Max B went away, he kind of continued the whole wave, the Max B wave, and it worked out for him. He got into situations. He got signed to Akon. He got signed to uh, Waka Flocka's mom. He, then he got signed to Rick Ross. He jumped crew to crew to crew. He never kept it with one person, right? Crew to crew to crew to crew. And then landed on Bad Boy. Bad Boy, Rick Ross, MMG. It was kind of like a collab effort. And it worked out for him. <clears throat> so, you know, they, they kissed and made up last night. It was, it was good. It was good. You know, because there was a time where, I mean, I can't speak on everything. There was a time when French Montana actually got popped at. Maybe over that, maybe not, maybe over something else. Who knows? But, uh, you know, it, it got real. You know, you, you, they, they remember Max and French running down to Chung King Studios when Jim Jones was recording there and they had it out in the street. It was, it was, it was kind of movie-ish back then. It was different. It was different. I remember all that stuff. Um, so, yeah, they, they're cool now. I know I know. 50 Cent's going to say something about that tomorrow. <laughs> Two of his enemies come together and unite then uh, masika she's mad because fabulous on swiss beats 
over a Swiss Beast track with Fab and Jadakiss. It was uh, theme music. It said, any problems, mask and gloves, Jason and Freddy basically ready. And he said, I'm like Masika and Alexis, how I'm chasing the Fetty. Ah, oh, that was a fire line. She didn't like that. She she saw Fab on with Tori, and she she let him have it. She said, "Say my name one more time on a song, and I'll quickly rechip your tooth." Goofy, <laughs> Masika, calm down, <laughs> calm down. You're not gonna do anything. This is Jordan Taylor with JT News. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope we get back to normal soon. I, I, I'm hearing plans of reopening around May 1st, certain parts of the country, slowly in phases. So, you know, it'd probably take a month to open everything. So probably June 1st, everything will be back to normal. But it's going to take about 30 days. Start. I, they're starting May 1st. So, like, obviously the less affected will start opening. Then they uh, will... Probably be totally reopened by June first. I could say. I, I mean, if we go any longer, if we go any longer, we're going to be in a recession. I mean, we're already in a recession. We're going to be in a depression, and that'll be way worse than this. <laughs> a mask and gloves can't save you in a depression. <laughs> That's a fact. Anyways, guys, I'll check you guys in the next one. Also, just hope you guys are staying. You know, I was down a little bit today. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I'm going through this. You know. We're all, we're all going through this at the same time. I can't say we're going through it together like these car commercials like to play. Like, hey, I know we're going through hard times, guys, but come down. We'll deliver a car to you. Buy a car. Buy a car. Buy a Toyota. Buy a, buy a Lincoln, you know. But it's depressing a little bit. And, um, you know, I just hope that uh, everyone tries to stay on the up and up. Go out for Stay away from people, but, you know, go out for a walk, but stay away from people or something, you know, be safe. Don't be reckless. Uh, don't go for a walk in the city, obviously, maybe in the country or something. Uh, or read a book or watch a documentary. Just try to get your mind off of everything. Stop watching the news so much. For real. Uh, if you want to stay away from anything, just watch those press conferences. That'll give you everything you need to know of what's happening up to date instead of watching the news with their fake headlines. Uh, I'm not saying the press conference is real, but it's actual facts, at least, you know, instead of headlines where they're just making you, you know, doctors are predicting, hey, we won't shake hands again till 2040. You know, it's like, you know, there's just doctors are looking for headlines. Uh, we got press looking for headlines it's, it's sad out here but you know try to stay up and up um, i'm gonna go for a run right now actually before i go to sleep i have a treadmill so i'm gonna go for a run and try to take my mind off of things love you guys appreciate you guys and i'll check you on the next one